I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf. I love golf. I think it's one of the greats, but I don't have time. So I have the greatest stuff. But you know what? And I love golf. But if I were in the White House, I don't think I'd ever see Turnberry again. And I like to play golf. You know, it's, I'm a good golfer, believe it or not. Here's the deal. What I want to do, professional golfer, I play golf. I play very nice. Did you see the picture of me, the horrible picture with the stomach out to here? That was... So what I do is I'm putting up today a picture of me actually, what I actually look like, hitting a ball, smashing the frickin' ball. And you'll see quite... I wouldn't say slim. I wouldn't say slim, but not bad. But the ball does go far. I would say it goes about nine times further than Biden can hit it. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't what? say slim, perhaps shady, but um, but no, he loves golf <laughs> and uh, he's good at golf, believe it or not. I'm gonna choose not, actually. I'm gonna go on the not on that. He likes it. That doesn't mean that he's good at it, though. And he really, really, it's important to him that he convinces you that he's good at it. That's why he's constantly tweeting about the championships that he's won. So I'm not gonna read all these, but he won the championship trophy in the senior club championship at Trump International Golf Club West Palm Beach or whatever. He had another message about this thing that was handed to him from Jack Nicholas. He's Really, really sure that he's good at it or whatever. But um, the issue is that while he might have won these trophies, he didn't win it fair or square. He cheats. And how he cheats is embarrassing and varied, actually. And so we turn now to sports writer Rick Riley, who has documented some of the many ways that Donald Trump cheats at golf. Take a look at this. He cannot lose. He has to win. And he will do anything. To cheat. And I know because I played golf with him once. He took seven mulligans. He took a gimme chip in. I never even heard of a gimme chip in. He has won tournaments. He's won tournaments where he's not even in the state when the tournament is played. He won one in North Korea when he was talking to Kim Jong un or whatever his name was. He won one in Florida. And he couldn't have been there. And I think it was this year he won a two day tournament. When one year he was at Diamond's funeral or whatever that was, when one of the two days he wasn't even at the tournament. And what he does, he just calls in and says, yeah, I would have. I usually beat that guy. Give me the trophy. <laughs> and I know this because when I play with him, he goes, you know what I do to win these championships, don't you? And I'm like, please tell me, give it to me. <laughs> and he goes, anytime I buy a new course, I play the first round by myself. And then I declare myself the club champion. That's so revealing of his personality and so deeply, deeply embarrassing. God damn, is he a tiny little baby boy? Um, but there are other techniques as well, uh, arguably more embarrassing, about how he gets one over on his fellow players. Take a look. There's no refs. You can't possibly cover that much territory. But with Trump, not only does he kick it, boozle it, cheat like a mafia accountant, three card money dealer, he gets your ball and throws that in trouble. <laughs> your stories of him kicking his, his opponent's balls into bunkers because what he does, he has, you know, golf carts. Yeah. Golf carts always gets a turbocharged golf cart that goes three times as fast as yours. So he's always 200 yards ahead, and that gives him time to cheat, kick your ball, throw his out. One time in L.A., he was playing $50 a hole with these three guys. He hits it in the pond. They see the splash. By the time they get there, it's in the middle of the fairway. And they're like, what the F, Donald? And he goes, it must have been the tide. Moss, what do you think about our president or potential future president? I mean, it would be funny if it weren't the fact that he uses that in elections as well. Mm -hmm. You know, he won't accept a loss. He's a sad little baby. Um, I'm, I'm an older person now. I still play sports. And once in a while, when you're playing against younger people, like let's say I'm playing soccer, I might grab the guy's jersey to slow him down or something. <laughs> you know, I'm all for using some of your, you know, some of your wisdom to get away with certain things. But this guy is a disaster. His ego is such a small, small, like, I mean, his ego is big, but I'm saying his, his, his ability to, to, to take anything at all, any kind of loss. It's, it's, it's a narcissist. It's a sad situation. It really is a sad situation. And, um, 
you know, it's and it's again so obvious. Um, and he keep talking about like I don't want to have time to golf and and really all, again mm-hmm. I don't understand why he didn't just stick to golf. He should have just stuck to it. You could be a big fan of something and not be great at it, but just be like I admire. It. I love being out there. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. You'll never hear that from this guy's mouth. And the fact that anybody would go on their own little truth social media and go, uh, you know, honored to accept this award. That that's. That's like that false humility that's not really, you're showing off is what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. A thing that you didn't actually win, that yeah. you just made up. I mean, what delusional world is this guy living in? What delusional, and who are these people that actually listen and try? If I had been giving money to this guy for his election and I saw that one little post, I would, it would, I would wake up and go, this guy's completely out of his mind. He's delusional. I've just given <laughs> away all my money. What have I been yeah. doing? Yeah, I don't like it, it. There's like two two sides of it to me that are that are deeply sad, and I have long since expended any empathy I might have for Donald Trump because he's such a bad guy who hurts so many people. But like, he desperately wants to be good at golf. It's a thing that he has passion for, or whatever. And so to him, he isn't good enough at it. Clearly, he can't legitimately win these, but he wants to at least project that he has. So he cheats or whatever, or he does a thing where he's the first person to go or whatever, he gets the trophy. That way he can bleed on Truth Social about it. But the thing about that is, at the end of the day, you're by yourself and you know that you didn't do it. Like you might have felt better in the moment when you bamboozled some rubes into thinking you did it, but you know that you did it. Didn't do it, and that's that's really really sad. And then the other side of it is, it's not like he's a savvy cheater. This guy knows how he cheats. Apparently, many many of the people, including top celebrities like Tiger Woods that he's played with, have talked about how he cheats. So he cheats, and he's not hiding it well. So that isn't it. Isn't just like that he is living like a false life where he's a winner, but he knows deep inside that he's not. It's worse than that because now he has riddled the country and the world with people who he must on some level respect because they're actually good at something that he wishes he was good at that now have no respect for him because they saw him cheat. It would be one thing if he played with Tiger Woods and Tiger Woods kicked his ass. That's expected. Tiger Woods is going to be better than you and you're just some guy who owns buildings. He wouldn't like look down on you for not being as good as him, but now he will look down on you because you're not as good at him and you cheat to try to cover it up. There is nothing more humiliating than that, than people knowing that you are a cheat. And I don't know, I don't, he's never gonna admit to it. I'm never gonna know how embarrassed he is, but it has to, he must feel it on the inside. That he's and, filled and, the world with people who know he's, he's lying about this. And by the way, John, the other thing to note is like, who cares? Like nobody really cares if Donald Trump won or lost in a golf game, but his ego is so damaged that he feels the need to go online and brag about winning this thing that nobody really. I've never heard anybody be like, "Oh, who won the Donald Trump Invitational?" You know, you know, what I'm saying it's not the it's not the PGA Championship. It's like, you know, yeah. If, if I win in a in a one on one basketball game, I'm not gonna run to my Twitter and be like, I'm honored to have won the <laughs> Maz Jobrani invitational in my house. It was quite the competition. I mean I mean you, know you should tweet that though. That yeah. would be pretty funny, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm nobody can prove that. you're wrong. Yeah. You just yeah. put in the basketball court and yeah. then you play by yourself and you won the first ever trophy. I like it. it. I like it. Yeah. Imagine me, I like board games. Imagine me like cheating with my wife so I can win Settlers of Catan or something that would be so deeply embarrassing. And then tweeting about the fact that I beat her. Good that, God. That's the that, that's the, the, the the second sick part of it. You, not only did you cheat to win, because you could cheat to win and be like, winner, let's go have dinner, let's get out of here, let's move on with our lives. The fact that then you have to go out and brag about it shows you this emptiness that you have of, yeah. I, I don't, I mean, I don't know if what people are responding. People are going like, congratulations, sir. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know I'm what people sure. say to this guy. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.